Chapter 1 The Unpredictable World Continued from Part 3 But the virtual explosives in the form of television news banged her head every time and reinstated all her concerns about the negativities in the society. Her left hand was on her sweaty forehead where three lines appeared. Her legs froze and a ting of fear slithered along her spine. Head and eyelids moving down, her soul questioned her shrunk mind. Why does this happen in the world? Arithi had started disliking the news content which she used to watch earlier, considering it the sea of knowledge. However, she was a strong human being. So now, she never allowed these painful thoughts to take over her. Having set her primary life goals already, she let her mind to switch on to the studies again, always murmuring to herself time and again, Hey Arithe, your seat is already reserved in ICE. And her mind smiled. It had been an exam time. Arithe's exams had gone good and she was confident of cracking ICE triple ICE entrance examination. Arithe had already been a meritorious girl since her childhood and had indeed put her heart out in the entrance exam preparations. Cracking ICE triple wasn't the thing that every student of her age could courage to say. Finally, it was a result day to day and she had marked her words. So, she had already bought herself a packet of spicy kurkure chatka. That was a habit of hers to eat it on the result day. The chili flakes ignited the spark that Arithe already was. The IC Tripoli result was to be announced on its website only, which was loading quite slow. As from all over India, if 3 lakh students gave the exam, then at least 2 lakh definitely jumped on the college website to check the result and around 1 lakh hoped to be among the to be selected 200 students. It was not just a dream coming true but a lot bigger than that for anyone who qualified it. Finally, the site opened and Arithe frantically typed in her ID number. The page caught refresh and there it was. The result written in bold letters. Qualified! She shouted, danced and enjoyed her victory, calling her friends. To the surprise of all, it was only Arithi and Angad in their college who had got into the famous ICE of India. Angad was Arithi's classmate. The not into ICE, Arithi's each friend had made into renowned colleges in the country, which certainly was a reason to celebrate.
Hello. Hey, how are you? It was Harshit on the other side of the phone. Congratulations. Thanks. How have been your result? And who told you mine? Ikanksha told me. I've got into Manas Rachna. Not really happy about it. It's okay. Your talent would take you to the heights. Not Manas Rachna. In her heart, deep down, Aritha knew how much she urged to be the part of the best college in the country. But she also was of the opinion that everyone is not seen. The world is full of such heroic stories when one has achieved wonders along with innumerable obstacles in life. Because unlike the rose, lotus is also another beautiful flower which blooms in the mud. Let's go out, said Harshit, to celebrate our victories. Harshit and Arithi became friends during the common computer coaching. He too was in BVB school in 12th standard, but being in the other section, he was not in contact with many folks in Arithi's section. 